John Wanoa here. It's um, 12 o'clock midnight uh, on uh, Tuesday the uh, 14th of March 2016 and I'm just videoing the flag um, raising on Kororareka above Russell in the Bay of Islands. So um, here we go. Um, E te kaimaru wa ngā rā o te maramataka e hikina ai te kara tuatahi o inei motu ki te paukara ki runga o kororareka. Engari, hei kaupapa ki a tuanō i rewa ake i tērā wiki, nā te kore tai tinana mai o te taua moana ki te whakatutuki i taua mahi, anei te pūrungo motu hake a Jean Nathan. Nā te kore puta mai a te taua moana, ka hiki huri poki ngia ke te kara tuatahi o enei motu ki te pau kara ki rungo o maiki i te pē whairangi. E moata ke te a tātou i tēnei ata e ngari te te pānui hara mai ki āhau, te te kaukora ka tēnei rā, ka hara mai rātou ki konei, ki tāpeka, te tūtaki i āhau, ki te kōrero mai ki āhau, hea hāi, Huri poki hia i taku haki i Waitangi. Voa te ki taku kōrero te kia rātau, kai te pē hia hau e te kāwana. Ui rā, i whaka huri poki hia taku haki, e ki te maia i taku tua hine, kia ki te maia i te kaipuke nga kanohi o taku tua hine o Queenie Liripeti, kia ki te maia i kai te pē hia hau e tana kāwana. Konei ka hui mai ngā waka wairua me ngā rōpū maha o te motu e whai āna i te tino ranga ki ratanga. A ko anō te tiro hanga rereke o tēnā rōpū o tēnā rōpū, mai rā anō he tuatahitanga, ke ko tahi mai rātau i runga anō i te noho tūpato ki te kaupapa TPP, ke te kōkiri e te kāwana. It's a distress call to the Navy because the police is not helping matters with our security and our interest in land that's been threatened with TPPA in New Zealand, which has been overlooked uh, as being uh, the government can do what it likes. Not so. Nā nā mahi a te taurika reka nei a John Key ki a mātau. Koe nei taku kōrero ki taku hapu, koe nei. Paka mutua i kone, haere tātou ki Waitangi, mā koe te te tono ki te kaipuke mā rātau e heri te kaupapa nei ana ki hinga rangi. Ki ngā kōrero koe nei te tahi o ngā kara i hora hia e puhipi ki te aro aro o ngā rangatira Māori i Waitangi i te te kau o ngā rā o maihe o te tau toru te kau mā whā o tērā atu rautau. Engari no te rua te kau o maihe rāno ka tahi ka tohua hei kara tuatahi mo e nei motu. Taka mai ki tēnei rā kei te rapu whakamāra ma tanga a te kāia, mai te teo moano o Aotearoa mo te hirahira o enei rā i te wā nei. Ka mutu ko te whakapono a ngā tānga te hui nei, kei te mana tonu tēnei kara. It's a signal that the Navy has to act in our defence and act in our interests of land. Land is at stake. And so the hapu has to react with what the iwi is doing with the land. The iwi is an ownership of the Crown Corporation. And so that they have taken as much as they can out of the land and haven't left much for the hapu. The, the hapu wants accountability that hasn't been done yet until today. <laughs> Wahi tēnei i ronga nui te ai mō ngā wā e tau i tōpea e hone heke tēnei paukara. I whakapātu mātou ki te tau a moana, engari kā hore anō kia whakahoki kōrero mai ki tēnei tāke. Tēnei te, te kā. So there we have it. I'm just expressing 
uh, to the people who are watching uh, proceedings of raising of our Confederation flag, that's the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, sovereign authority and jurisdiction founding uh, documents of this country, New Zealand. It has been overlooked the fact that the uh, British uh, military and British Westminster government brought the ship of Admiralty here and put it on the land, dry land, with this flag, and you'll see that crossbar, the British flag on one side and the Confederation flag of King William IV on the other side, the opposite side, the right side, and then the Union Jack was flying on the top. On the 6th of February 2016, the Union Jack was lowered down. It was not flying on the celebration Treaty Waitangi Day. I wrote to the uh, New Zealand Navy Chief of Navy, uh, Rear Admiral John Martin, to remove the <coughs> uh, Union Jack flag, the 1902 uh, New Zealand flag, um, from the top of the mast of this ship, British Ship of Admiralty, that <coughs> is the court martial law of the sea, brought onto the land. The other flag, the 1902 Union Jack flag, is a sea flag on the sea, not on the land, on the sea. This ship brought that flag onto the dry land with a dry land flag. That's the one that was given to the chiefs, um, the 37 chiefs who signed this contract, because that's what it is. It's a commercial trading bank uh, of England flag, sovereign authority given to us because we have our own sovereignty uh, and self-government with that flag. The government here, John Key, has only been a temporary government for many years. Exactly 181 years this year, on the 28th of October 2016, we celebrate this flag of continuity of sovereignty, unbroken, right up to this point from the 28th of October 2000, 28th of October 1835. So that many years is what our legacy of inheritance to the King's Bench Court uh, Bank, the King's Bench, Royal Revenue, the King of the Sea, and the King uh, of Commerce is what this title is, that the government is ignorant and in its silence said nothing. The Royal New Zealand Navy said nothing. For two letters I have written to them, and the third one I will be writing to them tomorrow, John One Hour, and the last time. I wrote to the uh, uh, British Secretary of Defence, uh, um, Michael Fallon. He responded immediately, and I will send him another letter to bring the military here straight onto the land blocks at Rangituki on the Waipu River. On the, um, there, as one of the landowners on the uh, Haho 7B block. So that's ready to come straight in now. And I'm arranging with the chief of Titi Marai, Ngapui, Kingi Taurua, tomorrow, to arrange for the flag to be raised on the treaty grounds on this flagpole at. Um, um, <coughs> Waitangi, Marae. Uh, this is this one here is on the settlement, the British settlement in Russell. The other flagpole like this, the other ship, British ship, is in the treaty grounds that we will be arranging. Possibly the biggest meeting or hui on Titi Marae any time this month or early in next month with enough notice 
to all the hapu and the confederation of chiefs of all the tribes throughout New Zealand and Pacific Islands to attend this flag raising ceremony on our lands. Now I'm acting as King Surrogate, King of Commerce, as the representing representative partnership to the British military and Westminster government, Parliament, at the time of King William IV, the Bank of England Act, and the Coin Act, and the Act of Immigrants at that time, 1830 to 1837, the Jurisdiction and Constitution, 1835 and 1852, still exists with the contract that we are now enforced on the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th and the 6th of February 2016, I've put an agenda on our website, moaipowerhouse.com, M-O-A-I-P-O-W-E-R-H-O-U-S-E dot C-O-M, moaipowerhouse.com. You can see uh, under the heading of Tomata all of these documents of title, Doctrines of Discovery of the whole Pacific Islands under the Moai statue um, memorial and King William the Fourth memorial. The, the British Emperor and Roman Emperor King William the Fourth. So those two memorials and our flags. Moai has the flag of the Pyramids of Africa and also the Moai statue and the Sun Ra intact on that flag and this flag the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag. So this video <coughs> I'm explicitly saying is for the purpose from Te Kaya Maori News for this occasion. Why I'm filming it is to put it with the documents for the officiation, official um, um, historic moment in time. I'm hoping that it's this month. This is a public announcement that we are going to raise this flag onto the top of the mast of the British ship in the treaty grounds and seize the lands and the country back into the ownership of the hapu and the people of New Zealand, the Manuhiri settlers. Now, I'm doing the legal work with our barrister, um, um, Shannon Withers, uh, representing the Moai Commonwealth Government of the World. The New World Order is King William the Fourth and the Eight Point Star of the St. Patrick's Church Order that we are claiming in our Irish and our Tahitian and our Scottish heritage and the inheritance of King William's court, bench, bank, bound note, legacy. That is our title. And every um, revenue that has been gathered in his court, King's Bench Court, and the Queen's Bench Court uh, defrauded all of the King's um, subjects in the common law applies to recover, salvage all of that property and wealth and gold, 1.5 million tons of gold and everything that has been forged by the Church of England, the Catholic Church the Vatican City, the City of London, Queen Elizabeth II, Buckingham Palace, Washington DC, United States of America and United States corporate companies, private companies and their directors, Queen Elizabeth II, Pope Francis and Evelyn Rothschild, David D. Rothschild. Now, 
those you will see on the site. You will see all those um, um, bill debt charge as levy debtors against the pound note. You'll see the green pound note on the King William, the fourth court sheriff uh, shall um, recover all of those debts back into the membership of the Moai Crown King William the Fourth Trust account. One more thing is this. Pope Francis destroyed all corporations and trusts except our trusts with this flag. They cannot destroy that contract between us, the natives, on the Eight Point Star, the Seven Wakas in the Pacific, and the British military in Westminster Parliament, where we're going. Now, Jamie and I'm Marie Patrick Stewart, and I, John Hoanitahaki Wanoa, will be going to England and Ireland and Scotland to secure and to continue the 181 years celebrated on the 28th of October 2016 in lieu of that, to pay the British military with the 970 million trillion trillion pound note, the Moai crown pound note, and ditto all of those people we have named as being levy debtors and our partners, the British military responsibility to recover all those debts against every person in the Queen's Bench Court and their agents. To us, the principal, to the agent, the agent to the principal, this is a final notice to you. The New Zealand Navy, John Martin, to respond with a letter to our seal of King William IV and Maui Crown, Earth God, Law, L-O-R-E, and King William's Acts of Westminster Parliament shall apply 1830 to 1837 law, is in our contract still today, going into business under the Upper House of Parliament, open on the 4th of February 2016 and open for business and our um, mandate to seize Te Te Marae and its memorial, the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi Obelisk, we seize, confiscate it the Marae and also Waitangi Marae and the treaty grounds, the land, the TB3 block, the Waitangi blocks and the TT blocks land and we seize, confiscate the British ship of Admiralty back into our custody, the British military and navy themselves and us, the partners. We are their partners to recover everything stolen by the corporate crown governments of the Queen and Pope and the, Her Majesty, the Queen and Right on New Zealand companies and also Queen Elizabeth II, Supreme Governor of the Church of England, debtors, Levy. <coughs> Pope Francis, Levy, debtor. Evelyn de Rothschild, Levy, debtor and also Evelyn Rothschild, David D. Rothschild and Evelyn Rothschild, debtors. Obama, Barack Obama, debtor. And every other uh, minister of the Commonwealth of 53 countries in the Commonwealth is now debtor. And they shall join us under King Ernest Augustus. The fifth, living in England, and his son, Ernest Augustus, Prince Regent. The descendants 
of King William the Fourth, King George the Third, King George the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus, King of Britain, UK, the First. King Ernest Augustus the First is the brother of King George the Fourth and King William the Fourth with their father, King George the Third, King of America. So those are our titles over the top of the Queen's titles. We shall seize America and put it back into King Ernest Augustus living and his son living in Switzerland and Germany, Hanover. Okay, so that's all I want to say about that flag that I shall be organising with King Kitodua, Chief, last man standing on his feet, representing all hapu in this country, not the iwi. The iwi belongs to the Crown Corporations. It's an invention, invention, the, Ma the what, Maori titles, the Maryland Court, the Maori Tribunal, everything under Maori belongs to John Key as debtors. So I suggest to everyone living in the world to join Maui King William Trust as members to claim everything that we are claiming from the Queen and her uh, subjects. So to all those in New Zealand, this is a statement from me, John Wanawa, representing the Chiefs Taumata at Titi Marae and the Elders throughout this country listening to this video. It is now official that we are seizing this country legally, lawfully and legitimately under the King's orders, King's Bench Court orders of Britain, UK and King William's estate land in Devon where we shall fly this flag. Jamie, Anna Murray, Patrick Stewart and I will be representing um, the British, Scottish, Irish and um, the native here in the Pacific for this flag jurisdiction and its constitution still live today. We are going into business with Britain finally as commercial operators. Thank you very much. John Wanaha, Auckland, New Zealand. Bye for now. Time now, 12.30 a.m. on the 15th of March 2016. Kia ora.